All right, here's Elizabeth. She's out here, she's having a good time. She's here mainly because the asphalt feels so cool and refreshing today. All right, um, we're here. We just did a little, a little, a little water palooza, uh, a, a water rooza, water rooza, if you will. Um, the, uh, the 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 Kip and Cat Daddy pull uppers were just here playing, along with the uh, the Snatch Mac bait cleaners, and uh, we're taking a little break. And Elizabeth's about to do some uh, tire flips, and um, I'm going to show you the proper setup for the tire flip. So Elizabeth, if you'd go ahead and get ready to set up for the tire flip. Now notice, we have the weight back on the heels, back's flat, notice how she brought her back up, notice how the knees are tracking over the toes. Very crucial, crucial point here is, um, notice also how tall her chest is and the uh, chin is tracking in to the chest. A lot of times when you see people hit this position, show them what they do, Elizabeth. They do that, but show them more specifically. Act like you even were going into a, yeah, that chin, that chin goes out there like that. That causes forward chin poke. The older that you get, if you don't do things to correct it, your chin will just naturally chill there. The human head weighs 8.8 .8 pounds, and when it gets thrown off the plumb line of your back, it starts to pull all those little muscles in the cervical and the thoracic spine, and then you're gonna go, oh my God, my back hurts all the time. Getting old sucks so bad. I need to go to the doctor. I have back problems. And then the doctor's going to give you shots. He's going to say you're arthritic in your spine. He's going to give you pain medication. And that's a whole other hell of a way to live. The next thing you know, you'll be shoplifting clothes in Walmart to pay for your dr drug addiction to pain pills. So instead of doing that, save yourself. Exactly right. Just keep your chin where it's supposed to be when you work out, damn it. All right. Now, get ready. And flip. Good. You'll notice she did that with her hips, not her arms, just like we would do our Olympic lifts. She's kind of she's kind of Peter footing around with the flip right now. Um, yeah, a little bit. Go ahead and explode through the hips. Explode. One more of those for me. And now for just shats and giggles, um, and to make it fun, we normally we jump in the tire, we jump out of the tire and then we run around opposite direction. Now let's, let's without coaching Elizabeth, let's see how she does that tire jump again. So go ahead, jump into the tire. Oh, jump out of the tire. Did my knees do something? Let me, let me go one more time. No, I don't think they did, that's why I was impressed. Go one more time. In the tire, out of the tire, no, she stuck it. Now women have valgus, which means their knees go in. And a lot of times, it's sometimes it's that extreme. That is an energy link through the joint. You will train dysfunction. You will not put as much ground or force into the ground. And over time, you will gradually jack your joint up. One day you'll get hurt and you'll go, what the hell happened to me? I've been doing everything. I didn't do anything. And what it was is because your knees went into valgus when you worked out over a course of time, then all of a sudden one day, miraculously something bad happens. It was actually your fault. You did it over the course of not paying attention to proper form all right next thing you know you'll be dead hanging over tires somebody will tie out to you and throw you in the bottom of the river now anyway after we get through with our tire flips jump out jump around good excellent tire flip Elizabeth run 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 then she's gonna go to the kettlebell swing we've all seen the kettlebell swing I personally just love the kettlebell swing and Elizabeth has such impeccable form doing the kettlebell swing um, if you, all right. it, when you do the kettlebell swing, think about this. Why do you do the kettlebell swing? For powerful, triple, for extension of the hips. Pelvic power. Pelvic power. So why the hell would you take the kettlebell up over your head and cut down the amount of force that you're generating through the hips? Not only that, but you're also causing impingement in your brachial, um, your brachial, uh, your brachial, uh, yeah, your bicep brachial tendon right there, 
when you have anything closed in like that, this little thing right here that attaches to right, yeah, when you're holding on and yeah. you take it up over your head, then you get impingement in your shoulder. And then again, over time, your shoulders start to hurt and you're going, why does my shoulder hurt? And it's because you're doing damn stupid American CrossFit kettlebell swings, which defeat the purpose of why you're doing kettlebell swings in the first place. But you know what? They sure do look cool on your YouTube videos. Yeah. Well, Elizabeth makes them look cool without taking them overhead. So, uh, the kettlebell position, please. That's not a really good setup, though. We get close, a little closer to the kettlebell. I'm doing all this bragging on you. Weight back on your heels. I'm just kidding. Chin into your neck. The light's kind of jacked up, so I got to get back over here. Get ready. And go. Gotta get that pudding. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, it's all because of the lighting, folks. The sun is messing everything up for me. Can't shoot anything but the butt. That's right. It's all, I just want to see the triple extension of the hips. Lighting's terrible in here. I got to get some different kind of lighting devices so I can have more advantageous ang angles. Yeah. Excellent job. And then when you put it down, back between your legs, drop it down. Good job. Very good. Go over there to the prowler for me, please. We're going to do the high bar hand prowler push. It's an excellent device. Now, it, show them what happens when you don't get your hips down. That's a great thing about the prowlers. The prowler forces you to have to be able to keep your hips down and drive. Unless you're over there on the carpet and you can push a giraffe or an elephant over there on that. But anyway, um, so drop your hips down. You notice her arms are locked out, just like in the snatch position, just like in the overhead squat. And actually, I want her to pull these back a little more. I know this video is going on for a long time, but it actually is explaining quite a bit. Because once you get right there, then your joint actually holds the weight for you as opposed to, as opposed to the... Um,